Johnny Campbell has been playing football in Southeast Asia for over six years. He's played in Thailand, Vietnam, the Philippines, and won the league in Cambodia. This year, the American defender's Southeast Asian journey continued when he signed for Pasela Lamongan in Indonesia's Liga 2, where he announced his arrival with a debut goal in front of a home crowd on the opening day of the season. It couldn't have gone any better. It's so nice to get a goal because it had been a while since I scored my last goal. So in front of our fans as well, home opener, a great feeling. And to just top it off with a clean sheet and three points, most important. Before the game on Sunday, you told me, ah, oh, it's going to be an amazing atmosphere, you know, it's going to be, and I was thinking, oh, it's going to be good, but then when I was here, it was incredible, it was wicked. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a rivalry match, so I knew, I knew the stadium was going to be packed, because even on the first game, it wasn't a rivalry match, and still, like, nearly packed stadium, so I knew the atmosphere for this one was going to be top, top. At one point, I think, I forgot that there was an actual football game going on and I was more focused on the on the end behind the goal there. The Curva Boys and LA Mania as well. Yeah, they're incredible. Incredible like energy from them all game. So when you first arrived in Southeast Asia, did you experience any culture shocks or were you put out of your comfort zone often? Toilets was a big one. Not having toilet paper available in a lot of restrooms in Thailand. I mean, if you're in a mall and stuff like that, it's, it's available. But if you're like playing football and you're at the stadium, you're like, what, what am I going <laughs> to, what am I about to use? So that's, that's a, that's one food as well. Like the food's amazing, but it's obviously, uh, it doesn't go well with us at first. You have to get used to the food because bothers most Western people like myself. I've been sick many times from food poisoning. But I want to talk to you about the toilet thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you're saying there's no toilet paper. Yeah. But I'm all for... The bum gun? I'm not a fan <laughs> of the bum gun. Oh, some of them are so strong, it's a... <laughs> it'll, shoot, it'll shoot you off the toilet. Like an ejector seat. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know, I'm going to have to cut that out. Okay. <laughs> you are from Tennessee originally and you cut your teeth playing in the lower leagues of America. What was your inspiration or what lured you to, to up sticks and move to Thailand when you signed for Cha Chung Sao? I spent 2015 in preseason in Seattle Sounders. One of my teammates that was there in preseason with me, he had played in Thailand before. So basically the idea to go to Southeast Asia came from conversations with him learning about a bit about Southeast Asia and the opportunity that's available for footballers over there. And in 2016, I played for FC Miami City and I wasn't where I wanted to be in my career. So basically it was just a leap of faith. I mean, he just asked me, you wanna go, wanna go over and uh, try and break into the Southeast Asia football market and I, I jumped at the opportunity. Footballogy is the handiest tool for football fans. Find matches where you are or plan to be. Search over a thousand leagues and over 70,000 grounds worldwide. Add your games, collect badges and connect with friends. Log all your matches and grounds in one place and see your annual stats. Check out where other users are watching matches around the world. Download Footballogy free, link in top comment. So how do you go about making that first move? So when I initially came over with him, it was just whoever he had been connected with before, that he had played in Thailand before with, it was just like trying to help me as well as him. It was easier for him to sign. Me, I'm coming over to Thailand with, basically they're like, oh, what's, US, what's USL? What's, uh, what is this on your resume? Like they knew I played pro, but like they don't know anything about US football. Now a lot more people know about US football because MLS is huge now and, you know, Messi plays and it's, it's, it's growing rapidly, but when I was initially going over to Thailand at the end of 2016, it was no one really thought US people play football. So I basically just had to trial, trial and sign that way. Despite being a center back, when you first signed for Cha Chung Sao, they, they bunged you up front, right? I, I signed as a striker. <laughs> Here's the reason though. I, I was a professional center back in the US, but when I came over to Thailand, nobody was like saying we want a center like we need a center back so it was just all striker opportunities for for a trial or anything and so i had actually spent preseason with a thai league one team at that time uh called superpower samu prakan they had already signed their foreign center back so they were trying to look for a striker 
and I was just training with them, trying to trying to show myself, see if I'm good enough to play striker. But you know, when I'm okay, but I'm not I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a professional striker for tight league one. Like so, when I was playing there, um, the Chachung there's a Chachung Sal connection, and I ended up I signed direct for Chachung Sal. I didn't trial. So directly from the preseason with the Thai League One team to Chacheng Sao. I'm glad I signed there because we had a good fan club there and also the owner of the club and everyone treated me really well. So it was a really good first experience for me. In 2019, you won the Cambodian League, Premier League. Yeah. And you qualified for the AFC Cup. So is that your best season in Asian football so far, do you think? For me, that was that was definitely the most successful time that I've had in Southeast Asia. Um, that team, we went 25 games unbeaten, so it was incredible. Like, and even better, no one expected that from us. So we were a team that were like wasn't really expected to win the league because the year before they had finished sixth in the league. So it was a shock that we went 25 games unbeaten and won the league and qualified for the AFC Cup. For me, it was incredible achievement, and it really raised my status in in Southeast Asian football. So, quick fire questions: favorite country you've played in so far? This is a shit. Just quick say, fire you've got question. To say one word answer. Oh my gosh! No, I can't because happy. I'm gonna offend so many people. Favorite city you've played in so far? 